I'm already crying. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I agree. Yeah. Why are we back here again? Um, because our life is fucking nuts, <laughs> and um, we are in constant motion. And uh, the and has been an incredible time capsule of our relationship, of our family, and of our lives. And we started when I was pregnant with Naya nine and a half years ago. So it's been so meaningful. What has changed the most for us since the last time we were on the end? Um, our roles. I would go out and work and you would watch the kids and um, now I'm your co-founder. We go to work together and we built a company together. And um, I feel so excited about <clears throat> this um, this idea, this pattern that we've brought into our relationship where we try to see ourselves in as many ways as possible. Mm -hmm. We saw ourselves as a boyfriend and girlfriend and then we saw ourselves as husband and wife and then we saw each other as mother and father and now we see each other as business partners and I'm excited to see what the next way is that we try to see each other. <laughs> is this a pass car? I, I don't really <laughs> see where it goes. I mean, we have. <laughs> Make the sound of my Presence. <laughs> and it's an S E N C E, not S E N T S. It's <laughs> the hard one. I, mm. you wanna... <laughs> there you go, that's the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Stressful to make a. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's, a, cool. it's, a, it's an I'm supposed to do that for you too, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's my sound? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the Kermit the Frog. That, that, does, sound, no. that does sum it up. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think has been our greatest accomplishment thus far as a couple? Hmm. There's so many, it's really, it's really hard for me to choose. Um, one is that we always keep laughing. We always keep laughing. It's, it's such an accomplishment. Um, Cause laughter feels like true joy. It feels like real excitement and we keep laughing, which I think is great. We also, are open to and welcome getting uncomfortable. We get uncomfortable physically, we get uncomfortable emotionally, we get uncomfortable with asking for reflection from the other person about how we're being. You've been incredible in helping me to become a better father by helping to point out um, ways that I can show up as my best self. And that getting uncomfortable as an ethos I think has been a huge, huge um, accomplishment in our relationship. How do you explain the story of us 
up to this point? Um, I would explain our story of being willing to grow with each other. We are so different <laughs> than the two people that met mm. 19 years ago. Was it 19 years ago? 19 years 19 ago. 19 years ago. There's a different man standing in front of me. I think there's this fallacy in, in relationships that the person you meet is the person you're going to be with. But that's not true in reflection. Who you are when you meet someone is very different than who you will be in 5, 10, 15, 19 years later. And uh, I would say our, our story the triumph of our story is we have learned how to grow together and it takes practice and in the beginning it's it's scary it's unsettling you know oh no is this the end because <laughs> it could be it could be the end in so many different ways i think so many relationships stop or split because you, you, you're not able to come back together. You're not able to grow together. You're not able to grow with the person that's growing across from you. It's like this constant moving algorithm of, you know, does this line up? I love it when you say algorithm. <laughs> Maybe that's your sound. <laughs> algorithm. Algorithm. Rhythm. <laughs> um, so that's, when I, when I talk about us, um, if I were to summarize it, it would come back to that. Like Ben and I have, have learned how to grow with each other. What have you learned about me as a parent that you didn't see in me as a lover? Hmm. <laughs> um. <clears throat> it makes me think of <clears throat> those those late nights. It's three in the morning, and Ray is sick, and he has a fever, and you in the rocking chair singing to him. You have the most beautiful voice, but you're tired. You're exhausted and it's all that you can do to stay awake. And um, getting to see that part of you, getting to see you dig that to a, to a depth that I didn't know anybody had because I know that you love your sleep. <laughs> 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 and so, um, that to me has been incredible to see in who you are as a mother. Thank you. What do you feel is the biggest challenge we have overcome to get here? Mm. It's so funny because like, the greatest challenges that, that we have overcome were probably earlier on. Um, what about the kids like getting really sick? Right? Oh, I mean, like, yeah. I think that's like a level of, mm. you know, that's a level of, it's terror. Like it's, it's helpless terror. That's an interesting perspective. Cause it's, I was thinking of the, the hardest things with each other about mm -hmm. what you're talking about is the hardest thing together. Mm -hmm. And without a doubt, without a doubt, when Naya got that um, empatigo. empatigo to sepsis to yeah. like, holy shit, how is this going to down, go down to reactions from all the antibiotics that she was being put on. And I remember uh, you telling me, you know, I remember you looking at me and saying, should we go to the hospital? Is it time? It was one of the most terrifying experiences of, of my life just knowing what was at stake. I think a real accomplishment <clears throat> in very much in, in line with that is the 
fluidity that we will pass decision making. Mm. There are times where, you know, I look to you and I'm like, Sid, what do you think? And there are times you, you pass the vote mm-hmm. to me. There are times where neither of us wants to make the decision. And then there are times where we both feel strongly. And I think that mm. um, our ability to navigate that yeah. um, is a, a real testament to um, the dynamicism of our uh, back and forth, mm-hmm. because I think that's the control piece that I think mm-hmm. um, can be really hard to navigate in a relationship. I love that you picked up on that because in retelling that story too, I, you know, I look, I look to you as our bellwether in so many things. You know, of all right, if, if Ben's, if Ben's. Losing his shit. It's really time for me to lose my, my fucking shit. Ah! <laughs> Is Ben okay? Yeah. Is Ben okay? Ben's not okay. <laughs> um, you know, because I see you as this, just like this incredible uh, pillar of reason and and um, intention and, mm. and thoughtfulness. What do you think concerns me the most about preparing our children for the future? <sighs> think concerns you the most. Wow. There's the internal concerns that I see you having for our kids. The uh, wanting them to be people that go out into the world and are able to thrive and succeed and make the lives that they want. Um, and there's the things on the outside, the school shootings and these things that we just, we feel so powerless against. My perception is that it's the outside pieces that concern you the most. To, to put different words to what you just shared, one of my greatest fears is that the resilience that I have grown to treasure within myself was forged through trauma. Like, how are we going to raise anti-fragile children in this incredibly warm, nurturing, like we're trying to do all the things, but it's like, it almost is, you know, so I question that. Um, And then in having a young girl, one of the biggest fears in my life is, you know, the the statistic is 25% of young women are sexually abused. And I know that statistic personally. So in raising a girl, it's just scary. And I don't want to put a boogeyman in every corner because that's not going to help her, especially in growing to be confident and powerful you don't model a world that you constantly need to be fearful of. Um, so what's that dance? What's that balance of education and information that's age appropriate, that's empowering, you know, in raising a young girl and raising a young boy? You know, like those, those are the, the, the questions that I face. The most. Describe a moment with our children that you will never forget. God, there's so many. There's so many. There's, there's, you know, like acute, like holding my children for the first time when they've been born to, you know, just the simple moments of like just being in a car all together with the sun coming in through the, you know, the windows and a good tune on the radio, like. You think you'll remember that? 
I will remember. That it might all fade, fade, fuse into one memory of just mm. being in the car all together. But I still remember being in the car with my family, you know, having like a moment. What's an unshakable truth about our connection to each other and what makes it so? Unshakable truth. Um, we know where this is all going. Mm. The number of times where we have uh, dreamed what it would be like to be parents. All the time, we say, it's happening. It's happening. And the greatest way, I think, to find purpose in your best self in every moment <clears throat> is to look at it from the perspective of somebody who is taking their last breath. I believe in it so deeply. And we do that. We know that's where we'll be. The little videos pop up of, oh my gosh, do you remember this? This is giving Naya that bath. Or do you remember that? It, it grounds in that unshakable truth, which is this will end someday. But it's pretty incredible right now. on your deathbed, mm. what do you want to hear your children tell you? <sighs> it's funny, like, here we are spending every minute of every moment trying to make something of legacy for our children. But I, I don't think that's what I care about hearing at the end. I just want to know that I was there for them and all the times that really mattered. Why am I in your life? Huh. I've said this to you so many times. Um, <clears throat> without you, I wouldn't be the best version of myself. There's no question. One of the things I think of of with you in my life, I, I feel like there's no failure. Mm. And it gives me this freedom because I know if we, if we fuck it up, we lose everything, our business implodes, you know, I'm, I'm still going to have the things that matter most. I'm still going to have you and our family. Mm. And there's a safety in that. There's just a profound safety in that. That even when things feel really scary, it, it's like the, the big pieces are unshakable. Mm. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation and want to ask these questions to your own partner, check out the And Couples Edition card game at theskindeep.com slash shop.